hello guys um, welcome to my first DCS tutorial uh, this one uh, I'll make just because a friend asked me to do a checklist to insert the ILS here on the Mirage 2000 and uh, I did the checklist and after that he said Sydney why don't you make a movie or a tutorial about it so that's the reason you're here so um, basically I'm cruising along over the ocean I'm gonna show the map just to have an idea where I am I'm over the ocean here on the Persian Gulf flying to land at Bandar Abbas so uh, I'm a little bit far but if it gets too long I'll accelerate uh, to get closer I'm not doing a voiceover I'll uh, speak as I'm flying so uh, what I'm doing now, I'm flying on the autopilot, I'm going to set around 80% uh, here, so I can uh, fly it nice and easy. And I'm going to open up my checklist here. The link is available on the uh, video description. I'm going to put 80% on the um, engine, so don't run that much. So the first one, I go for radio altimeter. Radio altimeter is checked on. I'm going to use a radio altimeter. And you're going to see why I do that. I usually get them together because I have to set a KFE. So I'm going to make them easy. Altimeter setting, setting KFE. You can get the, the altimeter setting from the airport. On this case is on radio on on the green land waypoints uh, usually I use the waypoint 20 for the full alignment the and the 19 for the approach so I'm gonna go uh, looking at the PCM prep 19 I'm gonna set the left one north and I use the Jojo 57 uh, data that he was kind enough to put together. I'll put the link also on the video description, but it is in user files downloads. So Bandar Abbas waypoint PS position is north 27137737. Although the two last digits that don't show, I'm gonna press insert, insert and the check on the top right, it's there. Now, the longitude, left, east, 0562313535. Insert and check, that's good enough. I'll go back to, I have some data here, so I'm gonna put the tech in 78 right away. And I'm gonna tune the ILS 109 and the small 9 i just moving ahead a little bit, okay? So this one is a red set Then I'll go back to my checklist Remember, the altitude will be 19 feet And the course will be 208 With a uh, uh, glide slope of 3 degrees So I go back to my checklist uh, Before I do, just for a matter of navigation I'm flying to the TAC N78 Bandar Abbas I'm going to check a whole theta angle. So, whole it di is distance. I'm going to put 10 miles. So, I'm, we are on 10 miles on final. And theta is the angle in relation to that tech end. So, I'm going to put 28 degrees. So, I'm on a final a little bit. Uh, it's coming to the left. And too fast I'm gonna accelerate a little bit 75 so I have a good final there so landing point is prepared destination 19 is there I'm gonna check the altitude it's 19 feet remember so I'm gonna put left 19 feet and the, the angle you set the PH and DS or RHDS set LS course and glide slope. 
So on the left, I'm going to put the 208.0, period, point, point zero, insert, and on the right, 030.0. So we're good. I'm, I'm being on a final. ILS frequency already tuned, 109 and this 109. Approach mode on PC, I'm going to press, approach mode on PC, press, raise the seat, that's checked, system command F, just to be sure that I am on the navigation mode, and magic slave target the, the designator, press, I press it, just press the trigger. I'm going to turn it toward that final, I'm flying on autopilot. And now this it to 2,000 feet, okay? Turn to, to final here. I'm gonna use 2,000 feet. Start the start descent and arm the altitude select. Descending. So, so far we're good to turn it toward the final. And uh, the set is good. I, thi I think the video will be continuous. I will not accelerate. Oh, oh, let us say, that's the bingo alert, what did I do? I'm gonna lower that thing to 500 kilos. That's good enough, good enough. 8 miles on final, I'm gonna call Bandarabas. ATC, Bandarabas, inbound. One, one, inbound. I'm gonna start to decelerate, okay? Seven miles. Airfield one. Climb heading two four five four eight. QFD two nine S O nine one. Runway two one to pass an altitude. Very good. And uh, I'm basically flying toward the final, five miles to the ten mile final. I'm gonna arm the lock and glide glide here, okay? You know what? I'm gonna wait for the altitude to capture. It's good enough. Three miles to final. I warm the liking lock and glide. So I may have the autopilot engaged, the log intercept, had an altitude established, approach mode armed and just monitor the capture. If I press the trigger, the runway will appear and it disappear. One mile to final. I'm going to change the, my HSI mode to navigation, so it to point toward the, the waypoint 19. It's there. I'm in a good intercept heading. Level. I lost the modes, that's the reason I have the monitor here. Less than 230, gear down. Add a little bit power. The flight director is working properly. You see the runway extension line. I'm gonna press again the 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 magic trigger, and you see the di difference. You see that you now have a a kind of three degrees uh, nose down mark path angle, and if I press again, it will disappear. That means that I have the runway uh, per select. So now I'm good. With, I'll try to maintain 14 degrees. The angle is good, everything is good, and perfect. Let's repass the checklist. Radio altimeter is on, altimeter setting is basically equal. In INS selector, LEG, we select, uh, we prepared the, the waypoint 19, uh, just for information, look at the HUD. Now have the runway, synth synthetic runaway there. We, we set the destination to waypoint 19, set the waypoint altitude, and uh, set the Airfield ILS course, and glide slope, select approach mode, raise the seat, system command F, then we press the magic trigger. You see the glide slope is not yet there, but it's coming. I'm gonna go do my landing checklist. Gun arm is off, mass off, city height, I choose radar power, power silence. PC in approach mode is there. External lights are on and lights are on. I'm gonna request my landing. Can see 
Shield 1, 1. Gears down, AOA is 14, too fast now. Drag shoot, once on the ground. Clear to land, runway 2, 1. Wind 0, 3, 0, at 3 meters per second. Nice. Liking Glad are okay. I'm gonna just do a, a small altimeter uh, adjustment so they, they stay equal. So I have a good representation of the the runway there. I try to make them the same. If I press the trigger again, the runway goes away. I'm gonna press again. Here it comes. So I'll go this way all the way down to the minimums and perform the landing. I'm w using the Mirage with my beloved Brazilian Air Force uh, paint scheme. Of course, I'm a Brazilian. I have to praise my Air Force. And for my fellow Brazilians, I'm gonna do uh, put some legends on uh, below. They have been seen it throughout the video. Obrigado, meus amigos brasileiros. 300 feet. You see, I, I set the, the fog quite dense. Started to see the runway, quite well aligned. Here comes the minimums. Autopilot off. Landed. Shoot out. I'm gonna lower the, the seat. And it's controlled. Release the chute, brakes, and nose view steering. So my 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 fellows, uh, my friends, this is the ILS tutorial that we have been uh, trying to pass along to our uh, friends here, and I hope you like it. And thank you very much for being uh, with me on this one. All the best. Thank you.